Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... it's a girl. What would Anna remind her? Come on, pick a name. We're almost there. Pick a name. Pick a name already. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Oh, that's gonna be hard for him. Hey, Geralt, did you lie? Did you lie to the Baron about when it'll come? Blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. It doesn't look any Lead prettier me now. To those bound to you by blood. How far are we going to be running? Oh, look, my horse is still waiting at the gate. That's a surprise. Normally he tends to wander off if I'm not around. Oh, come, Roach, let's go. We can travel let's a little go. bit faster. Look, I'm going faster than the thingy. Slow now. Move it. I don't have time to play with you guys. I'm following a thingy. Oh, 
we're gonna take a, a side road. Okay. Hey. Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Okay, where's the door? There. Nope, that's a window. Where's the door? There it is. Wait, I want to go in. I can't go in there. Am I seeing the door? Where's the door? Maybe there's a door somewhere. Missing the door. Why can't I find a way in? I don't feel stupid. Let me find a sign here. I think it's hard. Can I go through a window? How does this work? Come on. Search around. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go in. I'm just supposed to search. Okay. Oh, here we go. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Stopped here just so that I could Wants examine them. something more. Take it easy. That's it, Roach. Slower. Faster. Run, Roach. Oh, another one for crying in a bucket.
What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Faster. Following the Lubberkin all over the town. Following hey the Lubberkin all over the town. Out of the way. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Sure. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That, sir, came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, poor like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. <coughs> but finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, 
And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I'd a debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Okay, okay. Look at that. Beautiful new day has dawned. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Hoi! Oh look, I'm almost up a level. Fun times. We should probably just meditate a bit. So we can get some health. There we go. And so we can actually see where we're going in the light of day. Seeing we've been doing everything at midnight and 3 a.m. in the morning. Lovely music we have. I don't feel like it. Oh, you can fight these guys, Mr. Drowners. I've got somebody to go and talk to. Remember me. 
Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. What the heck did you do? Cut your hair with a pot, dude. Witcher, a word, please. Oh, now you want to talk to me. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? None of your damn business. Gotta yeah. ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Just that way. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No. But I talked to the man who helped her escape, and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again. No intention to return. <coughs> I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Have a little bit of a Siri story. A lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kaer Morhen. 
Witcher school there, are you? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Oh joy, more horse racing. Maybe I don't have to race. Yeah, right. They're gonna make me race, aren't they? Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. <laughs> Your sword is mine. That'll be the day. Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Show <laughs> how it's done. the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. Don't know why she had to yell. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry, I'll find Anna too. Okay. Okay, let's. So long. Find Tamara, the Baron's daughter. Okay. Where the heck is Oxenhurt? Mm. 
get out of my sight. White Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll? Uh huh. Oh yeah. Thanks, dude. Always wanted a ragdoll.